was wrong with your hair? It was. I had like a little tuft that was. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. After I took off my. Now my, it's important to know that Caroline's <laughs> later later life, as we're continuing from the podcast, uh, she regretted moving back to Hanover because when she got there, uh, the people that she knew were basically dead and gone, and so she just basically became a house witch. Like her father's prophecy came true. A, spinst- a spinstress. A spinstress. Yes. A spinstress? Well, te- technically, a spinster isn't that someone spinster? over twenty-five unmarried? Yeah. So I yeah. guess she was a widow. But she was not a widow. I... Yeah, she never married. Oh, that's right. Because she, she wasn't she married. Couldn't, she couldn't marry William. That was very right. fun. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I forget. I'm pretty sure that she had definitely uh, the wrong type of feelings for William. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so she regretted that move because she was just seen as like an object in the house to be dealt see, with. Whereas her place back in Bath or in London, uh, she was actually a member of high society. So she uh, regretted it. You know what? I wish I could go back as Carolyn during this time and I would become the creepy, haunted witch lady at the end of the street. Like, you know? <laughs> like the spooky... She's four foot three, Yes, over. yes. She's used to going out She's at night. She's got nights. the pox scars all over. Like, perfect... <laughs> perfect creepy old witch lady aesthetic that mm-hmm. she's rocking you know she just needs like a little rundown house maybe you know just to really seal it in oh no uh, she would not allow her house to fall into disrepair like that oh well i mean for the bit though <laughs> <laughs> for the bit of 20 years <sighs> ah that was fun but yeah I so I, that. I don't have a plan for the hangover i could talk more about the herschels of course talk about wonderful book Discovers the Universe by William Hoskins. It was a good audiobook to listen to. There's a couple of YouTube uh, conventions about him. For example, there was one for the Bath Society of Astronomy that had 135 views, which I found illuminating. 135 views. 130, it was a Skype meeting, and they just put it on YouTube. I feel like in Bath, there should be many public baths. You'd be right. <laughs> but it's Bath spelled with the E. Like, I know it's Bath spelled with like, the E. It's like but... the old Bath. So, yes, but like, it's still Roman, it's like, just like a Roman bath. Romans. Yeah, the Roman yeah. bath. I wonder if that's what it was named after. But Probably added bath. an A? Maybe. Because I... it, it is, you know, like the Park City of yeah, so, yeah, the UK. Spas. So maybe maybe it does have the baths and spas about. Uh, I just, I would like to say, Mom, your comment <laughs> while we, I, as soon as we went to break and you just said, but she had a nice mattress, just was. Uh, <laughs> Perfect. 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 And I was like, yes, you know, at least uh, all these things. She dies alone. She never got to marry her brother like she always dreamed of. <laughs> we say, we think, as it's let's, implied. Let's not make this weird. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, she did all this stuff. But, you know, at least she had a nice mattress that she paid 30 pounds for. <sighs> Isn't that nice, though? It's a nice always, feather mattress. I mean, a nice mattress is... I like, like our mattress. I like our mattress, too. It is too firm for normal people because we need a firm mattress. But it's comfortable <laughs> to me. Um, a feather mattress would be what I love is I was never feather. consulted in the topper, it was we're just getting this. No, I consulted you. Well, I, I okay. want to get a topper. Well, well I, nice. needed, I needed one for my back, yes, <laughs> basically. Our memory foam, even though our memory foam is firm and really nice, my back was deciding that it was like this isn't enough, and so I need to get a firmer memory foam topper for it. To the point where when we go to your parents, I feel it in my back. See, yeah. my parents' mattress, the get the mattress that we use when we're in the guest our guest bedroom, doesn't um doesn't. It's firm enough. Can, for can me. you can you ship the mattress in your guest bedroom to me? Because I love that mattress. I know, you do love the mattress. That, like, <laughs> I want that two hundred dollar so mattress I got off uh, Wayfair. Well it's now loses. Well, I mean, eventually, if we if we upgrade that bedroom to a king bedroom, then we'll have a queen mattress that is available if you want it. Then you get the yeah. Paper if you shipping. guys want to ship it over, <laughs> <laughs> we'll drive it to you. We'll drive it out for Doug. <laughs> oh, shit. Which uh, I almost made, uh, you know, like just to get hotel reservations, but we had to figure out. If we're going to go and yeah, yeah. like what oh, days. I, could, I was going to just the little America was what I was going to do. I could, uh, yeah, but I, I can't say it on stream. On the stream. Okay. Unless I, I have to edit it out later. I'll text you. <sighs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Uh, kind of a little weird. <laughs> what do we, so what do you drink in this? What's in the hangover? Maybe I can get a discount. I'm just saying. 
Uh, it is a beer. Oh, beer. Um, a beer Elysium uh, by Elysium called Night Owl Pumpkin Ale that Ooh. I have left from Thanksgiving Sounds times lovely. in my astronaut koozie, which his backpack opens we discovered yesterday, so you can put stuff in his little like bottle oxygen. Caps? Yeah. Oh, that's a good bottle idea. Over, bottle opener. Little yeah. bottle caps of like unique beers that we have. Oh, oh, that's cute. Oh, but you see, I was thinking you put like little playing cards in there, like a deck of cards, oh. so it looks like oh. it's a full pack. Oh, you could. Oh, yeah. Or you could you could hide your weed in there. <laughs> My mom's watching Brandon. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a show. family show. <laughs> Shit. I don't get real. We know. <laughs> There's no discussion of weed. We never do any drinks. My mom, my mom knows I smoke weed. There's but is no, my dad watching? That's the question. There's no cussing that happens? Fuck no. You're no an cussing. adult. No cussing happens You're an adult. Oh, oh, so for The Hangover, um, I saw The Fellowship of the Ring in theaters last week, and it was wonderful. Yes. It was, it was delightful. Um, I think it might be coming out in more theaters for oh. 2024. So we should look in and see if Eugene has it coming out anytime soon. Because it's not coming here. Well, we don't have a movie theater in town. I'm just saying. Shit. As, aside from our own. Well, so, you can put your projector on the side of your house and watch it there. That's true. All right, so, so I did buy a screen. We haven't used it yet. No. We have not used because it Because we were busy still decompressing and moving in last I know. summer. I'm not saying that there isn't. But I do want to have a whole outdoor... Like, you know, we, we because we used to do this in Phoenix, I know. where we can go watch a movie, mm -hmm. and, but also get, like, like a sound system, so that it really works. Oh, that makes a big difference, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. but I and, do... And then when you have issues with the projector, you can call me, and I can say, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have you cycled the power on it yet? Emergency yeah. support. Um, uh, but I do want to watch Lord of the Rings this weekend. This weekend is over. Yeah. No, no there's a, there's another other day. There is another. That is a weekday, technically, not a weekend. Oh, you're killing me. You know what I'm saying? Three day weekend. I would like to at least do the fellowship at some point, mm -hmm. which okay. we won't. But you uh, want to do tonight? You dance we're eating my day. We're eating ribs. Ooh. That are marinating in a rub right now. God damn, it sounds good. And then what time is it? Okay, I gotta put them in the oven in in an hour and ten minutes. I will be done. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be done. You did, you doubted me. You I doubted did, how I, I did contained doubt, it. But you contained it. You did a great job, even with uh, me and Liz doing well, our bits. That was honestly the best part, though. <laughs> I really wanted to squeeze in a... I wanted to make, like, I, like when you were talking about Captain Hook and the, har the harmonics <laughs> and Hook? stuff. Yes, Robert I know. Hook, yes. Uh, I know. Uh, but I wanted to, I wanted to squeeze in like a Phil Harmonic pun reference jo oh. joke, but I didn't, I didn't find a good spot. I was like, oh, too bad. Good. I wouldn't be like, oh, his name should have been Phil. Yeah. Harmonics. Phil and Chuck getting along. <laughs> I like the Chuck. one shade Chuck. Uh, Chuck Herschel. <laughs> you know, Chuck Herschel, he's got one hell of me. an ego for one. Wait a minute. William Herschel. Messier. William Herschel. Chuck Messier. Chuck Messier. Uh, no, but Herschel has a hell of an ego. And also, Chuck Messier has a bit of an ego as well. The, did he? I, I don't think he did. He just, oh, he's an object. I'm going to write it down. Yeah, I, I really but... love how, like, in the very beginning, it's like William just calls out the... The, the oh. mirror maker down yeah, the street. Yeah. Like, you guys suck. I can do it better. And then let me catch my entire basement on well, fire. No, 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 oh, no, yeah, that no, and, no. and the guy who taught him everything he knew. <laughs> yeah. the, the guy who was like, he, he described the, the mirror maker down the street as his knowledge was confined. <laughs> yeah, like, oh. Uh, Jack, let's tighten up the script a little bit and you'll be able to license it as a Reader's Theater planetarium show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Karen and Herschel, and this Excellent. is... The Herschels on Cosmos with Cosmos. <laughs> Although she's you sound, German. You sound yeah. like very aristocratic. I'm very proper British. Yeah. You want me to get Cockney? Because I, I thought that's the right way to go there. I the mean, face expression and everything. It seems like Carolyn Herschel might be a bit Cockney being I, in I'm love with her brother Cockney. and all. Her brother. Uh, now, now for, for the hangover audience, I should point out uh, that Caroline, when she moved to England, she didn't speak a word of English. She had yeah, a very thick she German accent. She was very German and not British at all. So, <laughs> I mean, I meant everything fact, I did with all the most respect to her yeah. deceased self. 
and, and her in fact, legacy. But William's name is not William; it's Wilhelm. Yeah, so they're very Wilhelm. German. But like, okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Just yell it. Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like a medal. I'm Karen Herschel, and we are here to discover the stars. Okay. All right. Yeah. Wilhelm, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh shit. We really appreciate everything and Sean and Carolyn has done. Yes, yes. Yeah, German's just hard. It's a hard, like, uh, you know. Uh, yeah. There's some hard ones. Irish and Scottish, I can't. <laughs> well, so uh, if, if I do, <laughs> the only way I can do Irish is if I pretend I'm the Lucky Charms guy. It's the only way. <laughs> Your mom loves and the it's British really stable, by the way. No, I couldn't even do it. Yeah. The, the, although oh, I yeah, am part like German. No, the William. I, oh, there you go. That's pretty good. <laughs> I have to listen to it. I have to, like, listen to, like, somebody who's Irish speaking and then try to just, like, mimic their words until I can get a rhythm yeah. for it. But, um, yeah, British. <laughs> I do have German in me, so I'm, like, a half of me it is German. It doesn't mean that you can do the accent. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how it but works. But I weirdly do a southern accent for no reason you, you did, yeah, sometimes. That is not how DNA works. <laughs> uh, it's completely not how it works. You know, like, you're you lucky I eat schliebeden. Eat schliebedish you. You schliebedish. <laughs> so uh, you're gonna kill me. I know what you you're saying, yell, but it sounds like... That you're gonna like. I will eat leave the issue. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna like put a, a a stake through my heart in the middle of the night and then eat me. That's what it sounds like. Eat me, I believe Oh, I mean, oh. <laughs> you gotta be careful with that blonde hair of yours, Brandon. <laughs> yeah, with, you know that was the Kennedy thing, so that's okay. German and yeah, I'm German, Scottish, English, <laughs> and Swedish. Food time. And Swedish. Wait, is it too early for food? It's way too early. No, Jack's just whining. Dog Jack. Oh, I, I thought that was the cat thing going on. No, <laughs> that was Dog Jack whining because he's blocked out with this fence. Uh, we got like a little baby gate for the beginning of the hallway. And you know out. what? Ooh. I will I will continue to use that gate so that we can justify paying money for it. Instead of <laughs> it's, only for, one week. Oh, it's only for when Poe is here, my sister's cat. <laughs> It's only for my sister's uh, cat here. So I'm like, we will use Oh, this Katie also it. thought it was the cat meter. Does, does that mean we're just conditioned like the cat to hear that sound and think, oh, it's it's food time? Is dinner? Kitten! Food! That's what it says. That is what it says. <laughs> Meanwhile, like the other morning, I was like, can we just turn that off? We can turn it off. We should. But then I've worried, like, if it doesn't go off, like, will winter know when? Oh, winter my God. Will know. Winter will know. Winter will know. There's He'll that distinctive that, that, sound uh, of, it, of, the, of the kibbles hitting the plastic. That's just, yeah, that's true. We should turn it off and just see if he eats it. This all right, morning. all right. But it is a, a nice alarm clock. <laughs> Now I, use I, it I as would think the scamping across the floor and well, jumping onto the table would be okay, good. To be fair, though, as soon as it hits the the you know the food comes out, yeah, Leia is just jumping. I know, and, She's and there Jack there. will go from where he normally sleeps <laughs> to just he just launches. He, over he you. is ready to be fed. So I don't think I don't Holy think the alarm is going to be an issue. There's such big thick flakes coming down right now. It's just so neat. Oh, I'm jealous. <laughs> We just we're not, we have nothing actually right now. No, our our fog is starting to clear out, so we'll, we'll, at least we won't be murdered today. Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, Jack has confirmed your language isn't carried on DNA, and uh, he said we'll something earlier in something that is not in Irish. Chan il do chanan er guilan er DNA. I'm guessing that uh, says your language, language isn't carried. The language is that and we're not the other here. I'm afraid. <laughs> That That's sounds more like more uh, German would be more Mordor mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or Russian. What is the, what is Mordor in the world's pantheon of languages? What is Mordor? The black what speech. What one nation um, we can call that out <laughs> as saying that is Mordor? I think the only safe one to do that is North Korea. Like we're not going to offend anyone. <laughs> North Korea. All right. So Mordor is. I mean, Mordor it was is. it was 1940s Germany. We'll say that. <laughs> 
Well, already. so okay, so Tolkien's yeah. very big about this. It is not an allegory. There's no comparison between the real world and Lord of the Rings. Let's get that out of the way right now. The Balrog sure. probably didn't have wings, and the eagles are fucking fine hanging out by themselves. Fuck the eagles! God <laughs> damn it! They can make a difference, and they choose not to until the last second, when it makes them look fantastic. Because the the ring race is gone. There's no more air force. <laughs> They could outnumber the ring wraith force. There's not that many of them. Are there there's more than nine. there's only there's only nine ring wraiths. There's got to be more I eagles. I don't have eagles. There's not that many. There's got to be more eagles. They're not endangered. I mean, the job got done. Here in America, though. The job, yeah, but at what expense? For at getting the cost? taste of strawberries. At what cost? Oh, that's a that's a high cost. See, you know. <laughs> We should uh, we should start a second podcast where we all we do is talk about Lord of the Rings. Oh, for sure. That's how, what the Hangover is. <laughs> how many podcasts are there that just talk about Lord of the Rings? Yeah, but they have not met our. <laughs> we have one podcast that's Lord of the Rings. I like, yes, I like the what about second podcast? podcast. I don't. We don't have TikTok, but Brandon only shares TikToks with us of this guy who works for like airplanes or whatever. Max. Ma- that that then goes it's like it starts off talking oh, let, about let, airplanes let, let, and it trans- make, yeah. transitions into Lord of the Rings like <laughs> oh I got, so I, got one. I got one I got one hi I'm Brandon and today we're going to talk about my telescope and in this telescope we have a mirror at the bottom of it that collects light in order to see objects up close uh, it's it's similar but quite different from the mirror of Galadriel which in fact does not use the light to capture starlight but in fact uses her magic as one of the first elves to be awakened. Uh, by Illuvatar to see into possible futures depending on the yes. So it's one of those. <laughs> yeah, it was one, yes. Beautiful. And so while this telescope isn't the mirror Galadriel, I think it's pretty neat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a spot on. That man is pretty spot, spot on. on. Um, you should make a TikTok that mirrors his but with Lord but with telescopes. But, uh, or astronomy, but with astronomy. <laughs> I can't knock off. No, I don't. I don't want to make TikTok things. God, the whiner. He's a whiner. He's such a whiner, Jack. He's but such he's such a, a good dog. boy. He's such yeah, a oh, good he's boy. a great boy. He's the such dog. a good boy. He doesn't. <laughs> they spend other than podcast day all of their time with hours us. hours a day with us. All of their time is with us now that we and, work from home. So, I know. So and this separation can't. of anxiety of being in a different room. <laughs> Oh is my not God. good. Mm. <laughs> Us going into an office would actually do them good. We have no office to go to, <laughs> but you know, nor do we want an office. No, God to go no, to. God I, I, no. I mm. so enjoy working from home. I I have been exceedingly fortunate. Yeah, and fortunate I gotta say, to to my new my new butt pillow that I got for Christmas <laughs> for my work chair. Oh, a world of difference on my spine, let me tell How's, you. But, but is your actual improved? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I got the old one and it didn't. Yeah, because it doesn't, this has, it's flattened. this is, has the support that is needed for my spine. Yeah, I actually took your old butt pillow and just put it in the, <laughs> in the, in the closet. You in might the as well just bedroom. throw it away. I'm like, I'm not getting it. It worked it's, just first, but then it was like, all right. First of all, I don't end up, I, I will sit on it correctly for like a minute. And then somehow, without even moving, I slide off. <laughs> it's like a gel. <laughs> it's like gel. Uh, Jack says, uh, a human Jack says, set up a weekly remote work day at a local coffee shop. That would be great, Jack. However, for my job specifically, I need two screens. I need two monitors yeah. to do what I do uh, 100%. Uh, but also, the, the, uh, I'm not confident in the, the, the Wi-Fi situation yeah. at a local coffee shop. <laughs> but but the but the local coffee shop that we do have. Well, we have right. two. We can kind of go to that one. Right. That's a little. That's a little coffee shop. Oh, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking about the little one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Not the cafe. No. Yeah. Okay. So the the so little one. Um, I do like that one. I do too. It, you know. You know, I had I I it got me into chia pudding. So I I had Mike buy some chia oh, seed, wow. and I'll make some chia pudding by soaking it overnight in dirty nut milk, also known as almond milk. Um. Every time, yeah, you know, but the crazy <laughs> thing good. about like, I, I forget, I've, I've been forgetting to make it though. <laughs> the weird thing about where we live mm-hmm. is that there, it, there seems to be like only two sets of people in this town. You have Trump people, 
And then you have progressive people. I don't know. It could be a mix in there. Uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, I doubt it. However, though, it really does seem like if shit hits the fan, everybody comes together. And, it, I mean, it just really shows that, I don't know, that we're all people in the end. And that, you know, that we're, we're just community. But we're but I really do love the the small little cafe because it's, um, mm-hmm. I don't know, it just feels so Got inclusive coffee, to it. Though. and Got good coffees. And they have, they have a rainbow open. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. you know, flag, banner, whatever you want to call it. We could go do that, um, the paint, the, it's like paint, paint, paint? the paint, 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 paint this week. That's, uh, you, you do a little painting while oh. having a pint, uh, and it's fun. of the Northern Lights. It's supposed to be like a that's, mountain scene with the Northern that's Lights. That's abstract enough to where anyone can be good at it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. How, how much is it? $33 per person. $33? Okay. Wait, you said 33? Yeah. That's oddly specific. That's, that's what it's less on the than fire. one bottle of bourbon here in Utah. Hey. Oh, but that's less here in Oregon. I know. Um, <laughs> oh, the Frenchies are still. Nobody took a little boop. Nobody took a th- Oh, there, were, there, were, there are Frenchie puppies available. <gasps> me, well, they, they I, are I, so I, cute. I, I memorized what their thing was. It was cow. <laughs> I, I did look at it when I left um, Ray's. You know what? After 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 the podcast done. here, um, mm-hmm. let's go down there. <laughs> well, you're I'm drunk. You can't drive. I can't. Drive. Oh, they're located. Yeah, I'm probably gonna place some Elden Ring. Yeah, oh my god! Elden Ring. Elden Lord. <laughs> Two times over. Two times over. Two times over. Basically, I just put everything in hell and just hope for the best. If, if you were to get an Elden Ring tattoo, what would it be of? Would it be a great room? I actually do like the great rooms. Yeah. Um, that's a good question. I so if I got, I don't think I would get the great room. I, mean, I they did look pretty good though. I I do like. Uh, okay, so I think the splash screen, it does have the little, like the Elden Beast, the second time around where the where the ship falls down. Uh huh. Uh, from the sky, not not to like the laser beam kind of things, but the circles. So this is the three circles. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like that. Oh, it's so cute. Let me, oh, let me see. God. Let me see. Move up to the screen. Let's see Move the Frenchies. Let's see the Frenchies. Let's Frenchies. Hurry up! Hold on. Frenchies. Oh, you got. The... Oh my God. <laughs> I. So... I'm going to call him her Caroline, and I'm. <laughs> And it's Captain Jean-Luc Picard. If oh, there was a Frenchie but, in this family, it would be named. Uh, okay, I think if you... Uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard. I think Leia would appreciate a new puppy. I think Leia would appreciate a new kitten a, a, a before Jackson's a puppy. puppy. Mm-hmm. But... Um, I have been flirting with the idea of a, of a kitten. You what? For winter, a kitten. You have a what? An idea for a kitten? I guess. Oh, oh, Mira attended the podcast. Mira, oh, Mira hey. attended. She was watching. Well, Le- my mom says Leo would not appreciate. That's that. what I said. I just said that. Oh, I thought you said she would appreciate another I, puppy. But I do, yes, I do think she would appreciate. Oh, my mom says Leo would not. No, I know that, and <laughs> so I am doing the counterpoint of I think that Leo would. Leo would put new puppy in its place. All first. I want is this puppy in my life. Oh, oh, is this cow? He's a little scout. Cow. <laughs> Lay would appreciate another kitten, though. Yeah, Lay I would love to chew the shit out of a kitten's whiskers. But I did almost pull a little thing. No, they're. I'm sure that's like a breeder, so their puppies are probably oh, like eight hundred dollars. Yeah. So that's a no. But never mind. But it really, what they they were cute. Was also, yeah, picture, the right? medical bills with a Frenchie because their snoots are so squished in. Yeah. You know, they got I would, a lot I would, of snoot issues. I would, I would call it Herschel, though, and it'd be great. I, what would I call a dog? Depends on the personality, doesn't it? It does. But you kind of got to get to know it a little bit. I mean, you know, like like Leia's still working into general. She's still a princess, Leia, at this point. Yeah. <laughs> She'll never be a general. Uh, Leia will never become general Leia. Um, but, I mean, 
A kitten could be fun. I. Well, we need to name it. When I sober up, yeah. though, I might have a different opinion, but. Do it now, Liz. Do it now. <laughs> <laughs> I think a kitten would be good for winter and the dogs and Poe Tato. I do have. Okay. Having. Um, Seen Winter's relationship with Potato, with Poe, mm-hmm. is I do really think that Winter would love Winter would having love you get love a kitten. Yes, Brandon. Is Poe's full name Potato? Yes. Yep. You didn't know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't know. Oh, shit, but hold on. You know Poe's full name is Potato? Oh, oh no. no. Hold on. But Poe, <laughs> Poe. Has a new name. Poe, yes. Po, hold on. I gave Poe a new name. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, so Poe loves loves lounging on the snowy snowy uh, balcony of Katie's. So mm. I have now renamed Poe Snow Tato. Snow Tato. Snow Tato. Give me a second. <laughs> she's oh, wait a minute. Where's Brittany going? Right now. You know what? She's not that spicy. She likes to play off that she's that oh, spicy, but she, she she's really a is a sweet cat. She's a hey. Yeah, hey. potatoes. <laughs> yeah, that was in our kitchen for. <laughs> oh, po- t- I miss that actually. Po- po- potato. Po with like. Let me love on her. Oh my god, Poe. She's, you know what? She, she, she gives a like. I'm, I'm spicy. I'm a badass. But really, she's a sweetheart. Yeah, she's got an image. She's got a main. Yeah, name. but she's a love. I, my favorite <laughs> part her. though was, um, uh, like, Poe's just sitting there, absolutely fine with you, just like talking to her and everything. And you go to pet her. She'll just she like just put her, her paw. Paw on she's like, no, nope, no, nope. thank you. Not today. Nope. No, and thank then you. you go do it again. Nope. No, thank See, you. And and with Scout, if I stop petting her, she'll reach her paw up and put it on my hand. Uh-huh. And it's ask like that's more. what like Leia does. Leia puts her paw up. Oh like, yeah. So I me. I would love for a cat named Potato and another cat called Bob Dole. <laughs> it's, a, it's a deep cut right there. We could get a kitten name at Spud. <laughs> Spud's Mackenzie. <laughs> Really? No one, no one enjoyed the Bob. That's fine. The Bob Dole. It was a solid joke, guys. It was a solid joke. Based off 1990 political humor. Yes, yeah. yes, which. <laughs> 1996 political humor. Oh, it's 96? That's when he ran for president. Oh. I yeah, mean, but he was, um, <laughs> he was involved in politics for decades yeah. before that. But How was 11? Why do you know political things from when you were younger than I was at 11? <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. we can we can talk about how Roosevelt thought, felt about the national park <laughs> systems, for example, if you like. Oh my God! Well, he loved them, of course. He created them. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> this has been—I uh, mean, this has been on par. I mean, this has been on brand. This uh, hangover. Been on brand, is oh, a <laughs> where we contained. <laughs> <laughs> where we have not. We have talked about all kinds of things, but talked about nothing. This you know, is a sign for that. Honestly, I've kind of forgotten this was the hangover and that we just weren't talking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I kind of like, I wish I could go back in time to Carolyn Herschel and be like, hey, not everything's okay. Like, like hey, you, gonna be you do amazing things. You're not just gonna be. I mean, you will die alone yeah. as an old hag. But it just takes some time. Cars, but just like, in the middle of the ride, like, and everything's are, gonna be alright. You're gonna be renowned throughout history, whereas that most people yeah. on this planet are not remembered. They just live and die. I, I, in I feel like my great Jimmy World went unnoticed. I'm disappointed by that. Your Jimmy World. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Jack says labiatories is the word of the day. As it should be. Labiatories. Just, <laughs> labiatories. Just labiatories. In fact, when you put that in. That is the literal baby maker, is a labiatory. <laughs> yeah, star maker, baby well, maker. That's in the beginning of it. Um, so now you can call it Orion's labiatory. You know, what? I'm actually going to no, do that one day. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, so. You know how gender works? I. <laughs> <laughs> That's just biological. 
That's just an engineering problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All men start out with, with uh, you know, X chromosomes. Labiatory should be just the name of the, of the episode. <laughs> Labiatory. <laughs> Okay. And just see what happens. Will like, will like a... you, will the number of people that listen to our uh, our podcast go from like increase eight like, to oh, like one hundred? They, they get halfway through. They're like, "This isn't what I thought." It was <laughs> it's, it's like an Indiana Jones movie. Her, William Herscher and the Labiatories of Space. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I finally got to give a tiny planetarium show the other day at work. That was super exciting. Really? Yeah, on the, on the big giant dome. I thought oh. I told you about that. No. Yeah. Did you? No. Oh, no, I thought. Okay, tell I, us. We can talk. We can, we can, okay. Recaps well, I'll, I'll do it afterward. I'll do it after the thing. Oh, well, yeah. well they, and people watching now want to see. And that's true. Who the fuck's going to watch this from work? So. <laughs> I was doing, I was, I was kind of doing a, a dry run for that new role I may or may not have. Um, and as I'm doing the clicking the buttons and make sure everything's working, at the end of it, there's a small bit of a quick tour of the universe. It takes about 20 seconds. And they run through it like that. Uh, but they said, oh, you know what's driving here? You can do it. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So it's usually like a two minute thing turned into a 25 discussion about the universe and space and stars exploding. And it was great. <laughs> nice. Yes. And uh, that no, is the felt so good. And that is the benefit of a live presenter in the show, right there. Yes. And should I get that, then when we have these, you know, big VIP customers from all these different companies come in, and the very last of it's always about astronomy. How much you guys want to talk about? What can I get away yes. with? Yes. <laughs> Um, Jack came up with the episode title, Wilhelm and Carol Herschel's Wondrous Labiatory. <laughs> Ooh, that almost sounds... They're Ooh. also... See why I keep forgetting they're not married? <laughs> I, okay, fair. But... <laughs> I also really love how Mike's tongue matches his shirt. <laughs> you got blue tongue. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you got blue tongue. Oh, shit, I do. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. That makes me happy. You made a blue drink. Of course it's going to make your tongue blue. Have I have blue... a brown drink. Doesn't they didn't have, my, have my blue tongue drinks brown. in, 19, in 1780. 80. 80. 81. 80s. 1981. 80s. 19. 17, 80s. 1780s. <laughs> okay. But they had beer. Oh, uh, it was yeah. a beer drink well, in the Victorian era. Me? A house full of labia tours. <laughs> Or a house full of labiatories. Oh, a pocket full of labiatories. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have a pocket labiatory. <laughs> oh, <yes>. Wow. Okay. <laughs> kind of missing the mark there, but all right. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of Polly Pocket? It's a pocket labiatory. <laughs> I know what Tamagotchis are. Also a pocket Oh, labiatory. the snow came back. I'm happy again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> wow, that was, that was, that was a 180 there. Labia? No. <laughs> I have a joke, but I, I, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's a little far. I'm not going to go that far. Labias can be cold or wet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that works too. Yeah, I'm good with that. All right. <laughs> well, if it's cold, you're dead. No. You mean desert I mean, or what? Metaphorically. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm although just... it can be cold. I mean, think of all the cold, uh, you know, Docker Party labias. <laughs> oh, <geez>. oh, okay. <laughs> labia toys on ice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Hangover. I really feel weird <laughs> with doing The Hangover with your mom now. <laughs> <laughs> She's a fine. She is plenty familiar with labiatories as a former neonatal nurse. She's dealt with many labiatories. I would love a foot of snow, Jack. Thank you. She has her own labiatory. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. Now, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Hashtag feminism. Now, is there is a foot of snow too much to fit in a labiatory? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, contained. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know. 
Oh, this was fun. Who's your favorite astronomer? So Herschel's clearly mine. Oh, Who do you guys got? <laughs> yeah, you gotta bring this back. Yeah, contained. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah, if I have the knowledge breadth of astronomers to say if I have a favorite astronomer because each. Oh shit! I just, you just reminded me of something. Okay. Um, so Carolyn Herscher was awarded a medal. Which medal was it? I, it may have been from the Royal, Royal Society. And she was the first one to receive so, and 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 the last woman to receive so until Barry Rubin. <gasps> hey. Wait a minute. Say all that again. What? What happened? <laughs> So I think it was a Royal a Society uh, medal she received. I don't remember which medal, uh, but she was the first woman to receive it and the last woman to receive this award until Vera Rubin. What the fuck is going on with the Royal Society? It's a different kind of grinding, Jack. Anyway. Um... <laughs> oh, shit. Uh... This is like, really... <laughs> Hedy Lamar! Hedy? Oh, shit! Oh, wow! Okay, okay so... Hedy. So, you have to t- say why you got excited Okay, so about that. was it we were watching Jeopardy? Was it? It, it was. We were watching Jeopardy. Jeopardy, and I was like, I was like, oh, it was some uh, a question or whatever, and I was like, oh, I was like, who discovered Wi-Fi? Who started Wi-Fi? And we couldn't remember the actress slash scientist. Okay, but that wasn't oh. the question though. Because... It wasn't the question. I'm just but saying, it but it, it, re- it. it was related mm-hmm. to it that it popped in our heads, and we couldn't remember Hedy Lamar, and so I just Quite now. So. From last night, remembered <laughs> Eddie Lamar. <laughs> yes. Um, I, I, I'm going to say, uh, of course, Fritz Wiki. Bec- of just course. because it's a fucking grumpy old man. Um, but You gotta love a grumpy old man. But Vera Rubin mm. is definitely, because what she discovered mm-hmm. and how humble she was about it, and we should have a Vera Rubin episode. Don't get me. Oh, we should actually. Don't get me started. But it's your episode. <laughs> we'll do it in four weeks. Um, um, she should have gotten a Nobel Prize for what she discovered, and you know, but she handled it with such grace, mm-hmm. humility, uh, professionalism. Yeah, she had to. Yes, <laughs> and she's not know, a Fritz Wiki. <laughs> You know, part of me, though, is just scream, yell. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, (laughs) she had to in that day. Uh, Jack says, Julia Child, which unknown, and also not an expected reference. (laughs) (laughs) Speaking Uh, of a baby (laughs) tour. Julia. (laughs) She would would appreciate that joke. It's a different kind of oven. Uh, Julia Child (laughs) cooked a... (laughs) Different kind of yeast. (laughs) <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> Julia Child cooked a shark repellent for sea mines and scuba suits during World War II. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I didn't... Okay, my my first thought was, um, okay, if I'm thinking of, like, if I want to be, like, a, <laughs> if I'm thinking of, like, a woman, you know, I can only... No, just think anybody. Yeah, but I'm saying I can only go off what I would know, and I would say, like, a... Um, like a Hedy Lamar or something because of the unknown factor of it. But based on what I know, I would say kind of my favorite scientist just because it was somebody that kind of brought um, astronomy to a more of a palatable and understandable forefront mm-hmm. of, of media. And that do would be, it, a, it, it. of course, a Mr. Uh, one and other Dr. Carl Sagan. Yeah. Uh, I mean, with, if you don't have Cosmos, you don't have a Cosmos a Cosmos. <laughs> I think so, I can think of the pun on my own. So, uh, so yes, yesterday I was reading. Sorry, continue and I'll jump in. Well, I was just gonna say that I, even though I didn't really watch the Sagan Cosmos, you know, I feel like Carl Sagan and what I know of him has contributed so much to right. just our uh, the popularization. public popularization of astronomy, and exactly. that hey, it's it's hey, it's cool and important to check out space. And all the things that I have yeah, offered. Yeah, it, like, it's, it's, you know. it's cool to be, I, I hate to say it this way, it's cool to be a nerd. It's so know? cool to be a nerd. It's hip to be square. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, like, you know, a, a nerd, a geek, whatever. However you want to define those two terms. Mm -hmm. But um, It's nerd. You don't want to be a geek. You want to be a nerd. We had very different <laughs> high school experiences, apparently. We all <laughs> three of us did. <laughs> um, and so I... Uh, yeah, I mean, he really popularized it. So he took it from mm -hmm. uh, from astronomers being this aloof, disconnected mm -hmm. to uh, a you TV know, society. show <laughs> that people can watch and enjoy. <laughs> yeah, to where mm -hmm. you know people that can't actually go in and mm -hmm. be mm -hmm. a professional astronomer, professional mm -hmm. physicist, whatever, professional scientist. Mm -hmm. Where they can go, okay, I, I enjoy this. I want to know more. And, uh, you know, they can find out He more made it things. palatable in... <clears throat> uh, palatable not, makes but, it sound like that science is some well, sort of science, bitter kind well, of thing. Well, it is all, I would say, in the general public, that it's hard to understand science. And people, I think, all, often tune out I, scientific things because it's they think, feel like it's too hard for them to understand. See, I, I, I'm going to slightly disagree in that point. It's not that science is too difficult to understand. It's that the scientists cannot communicate it properly well, for people to understand. It's like the baking system. It's like any kind of thing. Yeah, but that in, inherent is because the science is too hard to understand. So you have to have people that know how to communicate that science in a way that is palatable to the general public that is like, oh, I get it. You know, like, oh, okay, I, I don't I, have to be an Einstein. I don't I have, have to be a rocket yeah. scientist to understand mm. this and have it blow my fucking mind and right. be interested if, in it and be like, oh, all right, maybe I, I, I can yeah. pursue a career in this or I can I want to have more about it. The Cookie Monster explained to me special relativity. I think I would understand it better if the Cookie Monster. Did I it. feel like I would understand it 1000% better if the Cookie Monster explained okay. it to me. Okay, Mike, you're blue right now. You got blue tongue, blue shirt, <laughs> Cookie blue drink. Monster. Cookie oh, Monster Cookies. explains special relativity. Go. Grab our two years ago for Mike. I... <laughs> All right, so <laughs> there, are, there's only was it two principles in relativity? Like two cookies, yes. Physics is the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. So the physics I uh, it's the same for Cookie Monster. Exact. The cookies I experience. Uh -huh. And I eat are the same the that are the same cookies that somebody in England uh -huh. eats uh -huh. and experiences. Oh, but but uh, if I eat cookie, can they still eat cookie? What's that? <laughs> if I eat cookie, can they still eat cookie? They can eat cookies. Same cookies. Oh. The speed of cookies is the same for everybody. Oh, oh speed of cookie same. Everybody eat cookie as fast as I eat cookie. <laughs> All of that other shit. That seems to be difficult. Uh -huh. Just falls out of those two ideas. It's just about cookies. Those are the only two ideas. Those are the only two ideas it's, for relativity. It's, 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 it's cookies all the way down. All the way down. Cookies all the way down. <laughs> I think what uh, what makes it difficult for people is Math. that when when no, you no, look no, at no, the no. cookie and it's no. not the cookie. <laughs> it's not I think nice. everybody should look up and watch. However, it is that you can get it. Physics uh, for poets, because ah. there is no math in it. <laughs> That's what I like. And it's just the uh, you know the components, the philosophical components well, and, of physics. And that is, and that is, I think, at the root of what like Sagan was doing with Cosmos is you're exactly. breaking it down yeah. into the uh, the root, and that's how I think like with planet, small like the planetarium grass. shows I would provide is that like because I don't know I can't tell you that math to escape the Earth's yeah. gravity, but I can explain to you how stellar evolution happens exactly. in a way that yeah. they, mm -hmm. that you can understand to the point where person. the shit you made is still being downloaded in planetariums across the world. Every time you go see a system, half the time your shit's downloaded on their system. Right. And so the the thing is is that you do not need to be able to calculate yeah. how gravity works to be you able to explain it. how gravity yes, works. Yes, and that's what and that, and that is at the root of why yeah. I would choose Carl Sagan is because he did that whereas maybe it's not like the discoveries of the Herschels or Hubble or New right. Copernicus, you know, all those fucking motherfuckers. But it's just like, hey, sister fuckers. It, it's like, hey, here's 
here's how the universe works right. in a way you can understand right. it. You know? And, you know, the thing is, it's like, all right, so what fucks people up, I think, is quantum physics. Yeah, well, I mean... Quantum I physics mean, is I mean, so counterintuitive. I mean, <laughs> anything can happen. Yeah. Literally, anything can happen. Anything can happen. Exactly. Oh, as long it. as it's allowed to happen. Like, don't think the, too deeply into anything. One, one of the... Go ahead, Mike. No, in, fit, in quantum physics, if it's allowed to happen, it will happen. Um, but the thing is, is there's a, a probability that it might happen. And um, But the problem with... All right, so quantum physics um, has been around for 100 years... Literally, 120 That's years. That's wild. Um, and we still do not know how physicists, and they'll admit this, do not still know how to convey that to the general public, yeah. what quantum physics is, because it is so counterintuitive. Right. Um, I remember the, the, the first do science documentary I really remember watching um, and I, I watched it before, I know that, but the one that really stuck with me was Brian Greene's Nova on uh, quantum and string theory. Yeah. And the way he just explained it, I was like 11 years old, and it just stuck with me to, to this day. I still remember what he was talking about. Right. And so in quantum physics, you have tunneling. So in our everyday world... Uh, so we had two cookies. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part. It, you do it. All right. So Sounds in, like a Mormon way to get out of uh, having sex. <laughs> Oh, God, so, what was I anyway. all right, we'll get to the cookies in a moment. But <gasps> soaking, <laughs> but like so if, if milk? I right. run into this wall, you're gonna think I'm crazy. But if yeah. I do it over and over and over again, you're the, gonna think the, I'm crazy. You could go through it, but I will eventually go through it. Um, in about six trillion years. So the probability is really low. It uh, the probability for me to tunnel through this wall. Oh, it's is longer than the age of the universe. So, but I'll eventually get through that fucking wall. I, I want to I was. I wanna, I'm sorry. I got to highlight Jack's comments because I love it. <laughs> I love what Jack's saying. Quantum foam is like oatmeal raisin cookies. Odd texture with random fruit. Uh, and tunneling is when the raisins touch. Uh, <laughs> but he says, if a cookie falls out of the oven, that is sad and crappy <laughs> in action. <laughs> Dirty cookie, still good cookie. Um, so bisexual. Was, but, so when I said, but what's crazy is that in quantum physics, you can have two cookies that are identical, mm -hmm. um, and reasons. they can be really far apart. Mm -hmm. And you change one of those cookies, remove oh. like one one of the chocolate chips <gasps> in one cookie, it will magically show up in the other cookie. Oh, shit. That, that sounds Instantly. like sp spooky cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Very spooky cookie. Exactly. Spooky. And, but that shit is just so... And just not spooky. what we're used no, It's called spooky physics, isn't it? Spooky physics. Yeah, spooky that's, physics. That's, that's what it's called. Spooky yeah. cookie. Yeah, Einstein. The spooky okay. physics of See? the See? And then oh, Sagan... Einstein, great cookie mod. Sagan could have a whole Sesame Street section on the spooky cookie with a count. Oh, okay. And that's right. how he's a genius. We have a new podcast now. <laughs> Cookie, Cookie Monster explains math. Cookie physics. We don't have the licensing rights to the <laughs> count. No. So we have like, some sort of, like weird Chinese Cookie Monster. That's appropriation. <laughs> but <laughs> monster that quite enjoy round uh, biscuit cookies. <laughs> oh, we'll call it biscuit monster. Well, biscuit, <laughs> biscuit yeah, monster. Like biscuit monster. <laughs> I like biscuits. <laughs> Every episode. I like biscuits with raisins. Biscuits with sugar, biscuits with chocolate chips. <laughs> okay, so, Every so if, is if a son, really bad, like English accent. <laughs> I'm, I'm so. If sun is cookie, cookie so big, <laughs> other cookies go around big cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> what, else, what, else, what else can we apply this to? <laughs> If if I got it, I got it, I got it. If you take cookie, put it in front of face to the sky, that is one arc cookie. Sky, 180 arc cookies. You said a little bit Asia there, so it's a little bit. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He sounds uh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Cookie. Oh, my 
God, I don't know if you heard Jack. Jack, Jack Dog Jack just whined just now. Was it? Oh my goodness. <laughs> is it too oh, wine? This is a uh, uh, I'm, says, I'm putting Skittles away. I'm going to retire Skittles in my mind. Now. It is now Cookie Fitness. Okay, uh, all right. Uh, all right. Uh, but, Jack says Sesame Street is part of the HBO family, but Mickey just entered public domain if drawn like C but Willie. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. So, though, however, we're retiring Skittles. We now have to define how big the perfect cookie is. Put, eh, no, 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 no. No, right no, 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 no. Define how big that cookie every, is. No, no, no. Every cookie, no matter size, no matter shape, no matter bites taken out of it, every cookie, perfect. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I mean, how big God. is the original cookie? Uh, I mean, what are we thinking? We're Fair. thinking like a, 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 our standard chips and white chocolate chip, our Oreo, or our a famous Amos. Oh, this is where we bring Adam into this conversation. Oh, as so, the baker oh. of uh, Oreo now, versus Chippewa debate. Oreo, now, 100% now, wait, for the win. Chippewa can go fuck themselves because Chippewa sucks. Or do we go what? into the Girl yes. Scout realm and get the Samoas? Oh, or God, you will Trump remove all. your legs. Tro is, are you Oreo? Are you Chippewa versus Oreo? Oreo, oh, Oreo. Apples and oranges. No, it no, I, th- I think the, I think in honor of Oreo, we make Oreo the standard cookie size. Oreo. Oh, okay. All right, All right. fair. Fair. Yeah. That's yeah. good. No, I think they're two different things. It's no, they're both cookies. Oreos right, are what but... if I had Oreos or Chip Ahoy in front of me, I am choosing Oreos one hundred percent of the time. I I I'm not hundred percent. I I do like the softness that the Chips Ahoy can bring to the they're table. Not okay. soft. All right, all right. So that, ones, that raises up a new question. Ones. That raises a new question. So for all right, for Oreo it's always the same. For your your chocolate chip cookie, soft, or do you want it to be kind of, you know, have some hardness to it? I mean, I want it to be, if it's if we're talking my ideal cookie, it's going to yes. be your home-baked chocolate chip cookie that's a little dough then, in the middle. Okay, fresh then, out of the oven. Then why are you saying Oreo is because the best? As a pro, pre, processed food cookie, Oreo okay, is better than Chips that. Ahoy. Well, we, chips we, need Ahoy. Need Ahoy. we need a standardized Oreo versus We need a standardized cookie. I guess Oreo is better. All right, no, uh, but see, to me, they're apples and oranges. I I do love Oreos. What if they're the same size? The Oreos are smaller than your typical. I know, cookie. but I, I, but like a normal sized Oreo, like a cookie sized Oreo. I, so imagine we are basically physicists in the late nineteen eighteen hundreds trying to standardize science and measurements. <laughs> this is exactly what the cookie communication is all about. So we just had the same conversation that scientists did about weights and measures. <laughs> People, with see how this communication works? It's already going. <laughs> this conversation has gone from labia to physics <laughs> to cookies. To cookies. <laughs> I think it's ended probably... how it should. Yeah, I'm happy with this. All right, so, but, uh, but I appreciate both. I do love. I'm not, I'm not I the biggest do love Oreo. Boy. Okay, I'll so, so Oreo <laughs> question. Do you have to dunk it in milk? No, but it is no, preferred. No, you don't have to. It is a preferred method. It's like. If you okay. had to choose one or the other, I mean, I would, choose one. I would prefer to dunk it in milk you, to get a little yep, of yep. that. Mm. But you I, know, I'll take sweet, it without. Sweet, sweet moisture. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I'll take it without. I've never, never been a, I'm not going to say a fan of, of dunking it in milk, but um, I just like to just stuff that it in my Oreo mouth. chocolatey milk in I like to stuff it in my mouth. And then. Um, but do you split it at all? We're talking about cookies, maybe your toys again. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Stop. Split. You split, split it, lick. lick, right? Get Stop all of it. the get all of the frosting off of it. <laughs> Stop, brain. <laughs> uh, Hydrox right. cookies. Apparently, Hydrox cookies are a thing of the 1800s. So um, hold on, Jack. Let me Google Hydrox before we end the show. And then I'm gonna Google lives. standard cookie size. <laughs> all right, but I do love, um, I do love chocolate chip cookies. Chunkable, like chunks of chocolate. Oh, Hydrox cookies are like Oreo cookies. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that? Why are they America's original cream filled chocolate sandwich cookie? They because came before they, they came before Oreos. Oreos. But they're but, but Oreo they're defined Hydrox, so that's not appealing. But Oreo defined what they are. Nineteen oh eight. Distributed Wait a minute, in 19... Hydrox, 1908? 1908. When did Oreos come out? Oh, God. It looks, so... it looks like an Oreo, but it's like... Ugh. 
looks exactly the same as Oreo, except it doesn't say Oreo. I know, right? But I, I may finish this. Oreo was created right? in 1912 as an imitation of Hydrox. But who won? Oreo, Oreo obviously won the great versus Oreo Hydrox. Won. Because Hydrox right. sounds like a cleaning agent. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So Oreo, double so, stuff. But you're saying you're telling me the great debate of astronomy took place the same time the great debate of cookie took place. Oh my god, it did. And I'm it's guessing, all coming together. People. Jack says there's a big flavor difference. I'm gonna assume Oreo wins the flavor difference, given that it won oh. the cookie battle because nothing that tastes bad is so gonna win. The oh my god. Is so the Oreo is the Milky Way, Skittles yeah, and Oreos, Skittles and Oreos all the way all down. All the way down. <laughs> all <laughs> all right, down. Oreos, uh, regular double stuff. Double stuffs. Double stuff. stuff. Double stuff. You don't you don't mess triple stuffs too much. Single stuff, you're just eating cardboard. You want a double stuff. You want triple stuff, yeah. What um, what other oh wait, they they do the like No, the regular Oreo flavor is prime. Yeah. I mean Oreo flavors are fun, but uh, regular Oreo flavor. Yeah, you you, you don't need a deviate from the standard. Oreo. Right, do Classic pumpkin. hydrox. Pumpkin? I mean, I'd try well, it. Well, fuck Hydrox, whatever. I'd uh, try pumpkin, but I'm saying regular Oreo is going to be a better, the best flavor of Oreo. Wait, pumpkin's best flavor? Uh, no. What did you regular say? Regular Oreo. Regular Oreo, yeah. Uh, Oreos used, uh, Jack says Oreos used a better dark cocoa while Hydrox was still a bit bitter. See, it comes down to flavor. At the end of the day, flavor of the if, forks. Because us uh, people in America, we like the sweetness of things. Yeah. If people in England, they could be bitter, but uh, we yeah. do like I mean, the if sweetness. If, well, discover if cookie in space, uh huh. cookie get cold. Cookie get cold. Cookie begin to crumble uh -huh. due to cold. Mm -hmm. As cookie get closer to big cookie in center of solar system, cookie have halo. Cookie develop tailo, a tail. Cookie become cookie comet. Cookie comet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you guys, we hit on something. <laughs> cookie is wrong me. It's cookie. All right. Cookie. Trademark here. Trademark to their cookie astronomy. Join us in two weeks where we debut a new podcast. I, I got I got one more. Orion Nebula, like big oven in sky. Make many cookie. <laughs> it's a cookie maker. Why are you cookie doing labia? It's a cookie like labiatorian. China with this. Which is the cookie monster. Cookie, no, I get it. Cookie like, fine oven. Cookie labiatorian. Oven make cookie. Cookie labiatorian. <laughs> All right, I'm not making this next joke. <laughs> all right, carrot cake Oreo? He did it all for some cookie. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. There is... I'm not cake joking cake. Hold on. There is a birthday cake yeah, I've flavored seen that Oreo. One. I have not seen this. I've, seen I have not seen carrot cake Oreo. And there's a carrot cake one? Yeah. All flavors of cookie. And also, thirdly... Third, or <laughs> I'll do it in sign language. Thirdly... What is going on with this hangover? This has been the, the most it's insane a hangover. hangover. It's a hangover. I love it. It's great. Well, well, because the main episode was so insanely structured. Labia is naturally devolved into cookies. How does Labia Again, go into they were, cookies? There's things to be said about that. Um, <laughs> I mean, I can say various things about Labia, but... Uh, you're in charge, Brandon. I, cookies would not be one of them. Why not? It's a sweet treat. <laughs> uh, anyway, hi Karen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have never felt so weird. What was it up, Brandon? <laughs> Ladies oh. and gentlemen, thank you, thank you for joining the hangover. Um, I hope if you've gotten this far, you know, God, well God bless you. God well bless you. Um, physics bless you. Cookie bless you. Here's Blue a cookie. Um, join us in two weeks as we discuss. The high in the sky for oh, February. Oh, high in the sky. Oh, apparently oh my God. Cookies of the universe. I can't wait to see Mike's reaction in 20 seconds. <laughs> I, I I love how like all of this whole thing went and then <laughs> Liz's mom goes, Oh young. <laughs> oh Yeah. Everybody knows who my mom is. Okay. Um Yeah, join us next time as we do high in the sky and we have a more contained hangover. <laughs>
Follow us on all things. Enjoy your drinks. Drive safe.